Mr. President, thank you. Um, I have two questions. Do you consider the term Chinese? OAN. Yes, sir. Thank very you. good. Thank I have you two very questions. much. Um, you treat me very nicely. Do Go you ahead. consider the term Chinese food racist because no. it's food that originates in China or it has Chinese food? No, I don't think it's and racist. On that note, I don't think it's racist at all. On that note, major left wing news media, even in this room, have teamed up with Chinese Communist Party narratives and they're claiming you are racist for making these claims about Chinese virus. Is it alarming that major media players just to oppose you are consistently siding with foreign state propaganda, Islamic radicals, and Latin gangs and cartels, and they work right here at the White House with direct access to you and your team? It amazes me when I read the things that I read. It amazes me when I read the Wall Street Journal, which is always so negative. Uh, it amazes me when I read the New York Times is not even, I don't, I barely read it. You know, we don't distribute it in the White House anymore. And the same thing with the Washington Post. Uh, because, you see, I know the truth. And people out there in the world, they really don't know the truth. They don't know what it is. Uh, they use different slogans and different concepts for me almost every week, trying to catch something. Last week, it was all chaos. You see me. I, there's no chaos. I have no chaos. I'm the one telling everybody to be calm. There's no chaos in the White House. We have unbelievable professionals. It's really, I mean, I think I came up with the term. I hope I came up with the term. But it is fake news. It's more than fake news. It's corrupt news. Uh, they write stories without calling anybody. They write a story uh, today. Uh, I had a couple of stories where they, they never call me, ever, that I know of. At least nobody tells me. Uh, they'll write a story about me without even asking my opinion on something. It's totally fake. I've never seen, I mean, there is a story in the Wall Street Journal today about, uh, you know, about how we've done. We've done a phenomenal job on this. The governor's even, even Gavin Newsom, who, you know, I'm usually fighting with over the fires, and I think you should do a different kind of a job at the, in the forests and lots of things. We've, we argue a lot. But Gavin Newsom's been very, very generous, generous. Andrew Cuomo's been really very generous. I mean, they're saying we're doing a great job. And everybody's saying, but then you'll read this phony story in the Wall Street Journal or well, the Washington Post is going wild lately. I don't know what happened to them. I guess uh, something happened, like we don't call them back or whatever. But the Washington Post, these are very dishonest uh, media sources. They're very dishonest. And you know what? Someday, hopefully in five years, I won't be here, and that'll be fine. I will have done, I think, a great job, because I don't think anyone's done as much in three and a half years as I've done, I don't think, and the administration. This administration's done a great job. But the press is very dishonest. But more than dishonest, they're siding with state propaganda. Well, I think they do. I mean, I mean, they are siding with, they are siding with China. They are doing things that they shouldn't be doing. They're siding with many others. China's the least of it. So why, why they're doing this, uh, you'll have to ask them. But if we had an honest media in this country, our country would be an even greater place. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much.